Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Jamie and I love doing DIY projects and our house is actually the biggest DIY project that we have ever done. So we wanted to give you a tour, show you some of the renovations we've done and talk about the numbers. So come on in. So when you walked in, there was actually a lot more walls than there are now. There was a wall here that you would walk into like a closet and you had to kind of go around into what they had is like a sitting room. We changed into a dining room. So there was a wall here that I hated. It was very like choppy. Um, and then you had to walk into a really skinny doorway to get into the kitchen in this side of the house. When we bought this place, there was a lot of walls in here and we weren't really sure what we were gonna be able to take down. Um, but we had a contractor come in and look at um, the beams and the load bearing weight and we were able to take down pretty much every wall in this main room which we're really excited about. It just makes it really big and open. It's not a huge house, but because there's no walls, it really feels nice and open in here. And after we took down this wall, we actually removed a lot of cabinets. So we decided to go with the biggest island that we could get. We, we got the jumbo. Um, and then we added cabinetry on both sides of this. So this is really a lot of our storage as well. Um, so that's what we did. We got quartz countertop. We got all new appliances, obviously. Tile backsplash. Everything in here is really brand new. And a big way that we were able to save on our expenses was that uh, Jamie and I did most of the work ourselves, with the exception of drywall and a little bit of electrical and then like laying this quartz countertop. Jamie really did most of the work himself. So that really saved us a lot of money on renovations. Um, but we have about $14,000 into just this kitchen area. Um, so that's including the countertop, which I think was 3,500 cabinetry, appliances, backsplash, some lighting, that kind of thing. So this was probably our biggest ticket item area that we spent the most money on was in the kitchen. So you can follow me this way. This is what is the our living room, um, which are just, it really is a small area, but we don't need a lot of space because this whole area is kind of our big open living room. Um, but so this is where we relax sometimes. We do have a basement with like a TV room and stuff, but this is our main little small living room area. Um, so we like to sit by the fire in the winter over here. That was kind of one of my must-haves when we picked out a house is I really wanted a fireplace. We've had a lot of people ask where some of our fixtures and some of our things are from, so I thought I'd quick share a few things. Um, our light fixtures are mostly from West Elm. Um, this couch here is from Article. The rug's from West Elm. Our table's from World Market. Um, I love shopping at those stores for sure. Um, but mostly I do a lot of thrifting and then add in lots of greenery that always kind of helps add make your house feel nice and cozy. So I'll link some of those things below if you're interested in those. So you guys maybe saw us do a video on the renovation of this room. We didn't do a whole lot as far as knocking down walls in here. There's already all these windows, but we did do this cool mural. We have a video of that if you want to check that out. Um, this is just like the happiest room in our house. It's so well lit in here and it's just cozy. So we spend a lot of time in this room. Um, you can see our pool from these windows, which I really love. Our backyard is uh, definitely where we spend most of our time, so it kind of is a good outlook on that. So we can go ahead and head back this way. I'll let Jamie give the rest of the tour, maybe. So before we show you the rest of the house, we wanted to talk to you about today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives um, with thousands of classes from photography to business and entrepreneurship. As you can see from my house, I really love plants. And there's actually a class on there that I just took called Houseplant Care 101 by Carmen Whitehead. Pretty nice. cool. Nice. So if you love plants like me, they even have how to take good care of your plants. Mm -hmm. She's killed a lot of plants in her day, so. <laughs> They just die all the time, but I'm I love them so much. I'm glad she took this class. I think it's going to save us a lot of money by learning how to take care of plants <laughs> yes. instead of killing them all the time. So Yes. So we highly recommend giving Skillshare a try. If you're interested, we have a link down below, and the first thousand people who sign up will get a free trial. So if you want to invest in yourself by learning a new skill, it is less than $10 a month. So click on that link below and go sign up. All right, let's continue the tour. All right, so we're going to go check out the bathroom. Let's go this way. So this is our main bathroom and it's actually a really small bathroom. It's five by eight, I believe. Um, so we wanted to make it feel as big as possible in there. I know maybe we did that was by installing this glass sliding door. The sliding door is really helpful because um, normal doors, when you open them up, it actually takes up square footage in your bathroom. So come on in. 
All right, so this bathroom was a total gut job, um, and I can proudly say I did all of the work myself. So um, it was a big project. Last time I was holding Ruby, <laughs> she's a little older now, but she's about this size. Another way we made it feel big in here is by putting just a glass shower door in. Instead of leaving the tub in, we took that out and just made it all glass. It uh, really makes it feel bigger and just a little more luxurious. We also put this towel warmer in, which I was pretty excited about. It keeps our towels nice and warm for uh, winter time when you come out of the shower. Sarah also really wanted this faucet that came out of the wall, um, which pretty cool. It turned out cool. It was a lot more work than I thought it would be, but it also saved us space and not having to have as big of a vanity. So um, for being such a small bathroom, it actually feels pretty big in here. And this bathroom actually only cost us around $2,500. Because I did most of the work myself, um, really we were just paying for materials and the door was the most expensive part at $600. All right, so next we're gonna go check out the backyard, which we actually did a lot of work to also. Um, and on the way I should mention, one big thing we did in here was add a bunch of can lights. I think we added 24 in this main room. Lighting really is what makes things feel a lot more luxurious and um, we want it to be bright and cheerful in here even in the winter. So Sarah thought we put too many in, uh, but what do you think now? It's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's sweet. Kind of feels like a spaceship in here. Yeah. <laughs> so we've had a lot of people ask us how we learned to do all this stuff ourselves, And really you just learn through experience. So it starts with just taking that courage to just get started and, and try to figure it out yourself. Um, YouTube is a great resource. Um, but then also just learning through doing um, is how I've done it all. So our contractor is also my mentor and he's taught me some things like some plumbing and electrical, but um, a lot of it is just learned through practice. So really hope that's encouraging to you just to go ahead and give it a try. All right, this is our backyard. Um, we love spending time out here in the summer. It looks a lot different than it did when we first bought this place. Um, it was really overgrown and there was this English garden that was a little too far gone. I ended up renting an excavator and moving this entire hill back about three feet. Um, and then we put in a giant retaining wall. It was a huge project, but it looks really great. And I saved a lot of money by doing it myself. I would have never thought I could move a hill back <laughs> uh, without having to hire it out and pay thousands of dollars, but I did and it turned out really great. So. Um, let's keep walking here. Oh, by the way, we got our camper back here. So um, that's a big deal. Um, now I can work on it a lot more. It was up at Sarah's sister's house. So hopefully we'll have this thing done in the next month or so. But um, anyways, let's go back over here. We put more concrete in. That was something we hired out. I and mean, we also built a perimeter fence around the entire outside of the property instead of just around the pool. So we spent $7,000 back here, um, but it's a place we really love and enjoy being. And I also think we'll get it back when we sell. Let me show you one other big investment we made in this house that uh, is gonna make us a lot of money when we sell. Um, so before we had this concrete poured, we dug a egress window to the basement. We hired that out and it cost about $3,500. Uh, but that made us a fourth legal bedroom in the basement, um, which really adds to the value of our property. So when we go to sell, we'll get that back plus a lot more. So totally worth it. All right, so Sarah bought a lot of plants for back here this year. So hopefully she took that video's advice. Um, so one project we're considering doing, uh, let us know in the comments below if you think we should. Uh, we are going to cut a hole in the side of our house. Um, this is our master bedroom. Um, we'd love to have another entrance out to the pool. So Sarah, for her birthday, uh, that was her request. So I think we're gonna try to do it, but let us know what you think, because it's gonna be a little bit of a project. There's a few other areas of our home that we have not shown you, and that's on purpose because we're planning on redoing some of them this summer. Stay tuned for that. Um, so we thought we'd just quickly run over our renovation costs and then also how much equity we gained from doing those renovations. So overall, we spent about $50,000 on renovations to this house. Um, and we're gonna break that down for you, but the money we spent was from profits from the house we lived in before. So one of the biggest things that we actually spent money on was our hardwood floors. That was about $6,000. Um, and we actually installed that all ourselves. So we saved money by doing that, but it still was a big ticket item. We have, like I mentioned before, about $14,000 into our kitchen. That includes the countertops, cabinets, appliances, tile, some of the lighting, um, that kind of thing. So about $14,000 there, and Jamie did most of that himself. The bathroom was $2,500, as I said earlier. Backyard, we have about $7,000 into. A lot of manual labor, too. So. Yes. We add an egress window to our basement, which costs about $3,500 but that made our house become a four bedroom house, which helped us gain a lot of equity. And then we spent another $3,000 in the basement on carpet and a few things down there. Yeah. It's nothing fancy down there, but it's finished and we do use it as like a TV room. Another one thing we did pay someone to do in our house was drywall. Mm -hmm. So we spent $3,500 
um, removing a lot of the popcorn ceilings. And also there was a lot of drywall work because there was old paneling that we ripped down to the studs and that kind of thing. So that was another expensive labor intensive item that we paid someone else to do mm -hmm. and it looks much better than we could have done yep. so that's why we chose that jamie did all the demo himself which would have cost a lot if we had to pay someone to do that mm -hmm. and we also had to pay someone twenty five hundred dollars for electrical work so that doesn't equal fifty thousand dollars exactly because we know that there's a, a lot of small items in there that we're not mentioning mm -hmm. um, but it was around fifty thousand dollars total that we have into this place. But we had our house refinanced last year and we had an appraisal done and it appraised for $115,000 more than we paid for it. Mm -hmm. um, so we gained $65,000 in equity by doing that work to our house. And like I said, that was a year ago before all this crazy inflation, COVID stuff happened. Yeah. So um, we really probably could sell it for even more than that now. So that equity we gained is a way of paying ourselves for all of our hard work. Um, and we'll get that back when we go and sell. Um, and what we can do is use that equity to invest in rental properties and continue to grow our retirement. So um, that's our plan. Um, but for now, we're happy to live here and just enjoy the hard work that we put into this place. So, all right. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure and give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned for some of our house renovations coming this summer. Yeah. Should be fun. Bye. Bye.